Two vaccines have been confirmed for India. A lot of questions have been raised of Bharat Biotech's vaccine, Covaxin. And now Chairman Dr. Krishna Elas hit back at critics and competitors who've questioned the government's approval of their vaccine, Covaxin. Dr. Elas said that he's not hiding any data and that the license can be obtained after stage one and two trials if efficacy is proven. Also taking a jibe at the vaccine's competitors, Ella hit out at the trial done by AstraZeneca Oxford, with which Serum Institute is a partnership for manufacturing Covishield, which has also got authorization. Dr. Ella said that he's a scientist, not a businessman, and that the other vaccine candidate got approval on the basis of UK trial data. He further added that unlike AstraZeneca, Bharat Biotech did not give paracetamol to its volunteers to suppress adverse reactions. This after drug controller DCGI approved the use of Serum Institute's Covishield as well as Bharat Biotech's Covaxin on Sunday. Covaxin's approval, however, has faced massive flag from the scientist community because the vaccine is still undergoing stage 3 trials. Dr. Ella, however, has said that the only reason Covaxin is being targeted is because it's been done by Indian scientists. There are only two or three vaccines in the world, Pfizer, Moderna, the Oxford AstraZeneca, and I think Sinovac as well, that have proven uh, efficacy results. There is no other vaccine, including ours, made in India and others, Russia, China, or even India, that have proven efficacy at all. And efficacy means you have to vaccinate 20, 25,000 people and show that the vaccine actually protects you not just a few hundred or a few thousand people to show safety and immunogenicity. Covaxin phase three efficacy trial is going on. Out of 26,000 people, 25 trial sites, we have placebo control. This is probably the largest efficacy trial probably in India or even in the developing world. And it's a two-door schedule. And uh, we have already 24,000 people are vaccinated. And I'm proud to say that I'm really grateful to all the volunteers in the interest of Indian company, in the interest of the war, you know, clinical research, they came forward without any financial incentive. They came forward and volunteered themselves. I'm grateful to them. Well, it was a surprise because we thought that all uh, companies have to conclude their, their efficacy studies. But if the government has decided in an emergency to license something uh, which is safe, um, you know, uh, that's entirely their, pr 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 uh, their decision. Um, I don't know what word to use, but, um, uh, uh, you know, that's something you have to ask them. We put all transparently, every data, when we submit it to each committee, and when we got approval, when we had done the trial, everything is put in the flag. People question, oh, we are not transparent. I don't know what is transparency to me. When I put everything in the black and white like this, people still question transparent, because Indian scientists are cheap people. You can throw the stones on them on anything you want to. Let me take this across to Milin Sharma, who's joining us live from Delhi with the latest updates. Milin, while Dr. Krishna Alas hit back a critic saying that, look, the only reason we're seeing this kind of criticism is because this is an Indian company that's come up with an indigenous vaccine. Questions will still be asked about where the trial data is. Well, that's what Dr. Ella is trying to clarify, that they have submitted the trial data to the regulators. And it was the regulators and the subject expert committee that was taking cognizance of all the data that was submitted. Remember, three meetings happened before which Bharat Biotech's co-vaccine co was given an approval. And even in the third meeting, uh, the vaccine was given an approval for restricted emergency usage. Uh, obviously, there were a lot of riders that were told uh, that the company should follow. Bharat Biotech has received uh, emergency approval in clinical trial mode, which means that all the people giving uh, getting vaccines will be given the vaccine in a clinical trial mode and will be monitored for a long period of time, even after they have received the jab. And uh, these are some of the important points uh, that were made just for Bharat Biotech's co-vaccine because their phase three data has still not come out. We have spoken to Dr. Krishna Ella and he had said to India today that at this point he has not submitted any efficacy data to the DCGI. And that is uh, uh, the status quo as of now. He has said that he'll have to unblind the whole trial to submit efficacy data. And that will only come through in the month of February and March. But jives being exchanged between two companies in India has led to a lot of mistrust with the vaccines. One being Covishield and one being Covaxin are the only two that have been approved 
to kickstart the vaccination drive in the country, Akshita. It's, it's unfortunate it's come to this, that you've got the two companies where the vaccines have been approved taking jibes at each other. It only leads to mistrust in both companies among people and that really is something that authorities perhaps will also have to address. Milan, thank you for those details. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.